So today we are going to listen to part three out of six. And it will be from the original consignee who kind of exposed Anthony. Um, pun intended. And part three of six exposed Anthony Farrar, the timepiece gentleman, admitting to his scam. So let's take a listen. I could not admit this stuff completely sober. No, you're, but, you're, you're going to have a lot of really angry people. I appreciate the phone call and the honesty. Because it, it's like, dude, you know, without that, then you just jump to conclusions. You know what I mean? Which I'm sure a lot of other people have done or are doing, right? But dude, it's like yeah. if I give you a, a sky dweller and a patak and, and you fucking crank those out for 190 grand and I don't see the money, then essentially I'm getting robbed. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, dude, from that standpoint, it hurts, but it is what it is. And, and uh, you know, hopefully you can clean it up and clean your life up and turn the fucking ship around. Oh, well. And Anthony, you're, 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 it's, not, it's not the first, it's not the first time I've lost everything. Dude, you're, you're good at selling fucking watches. I mean, that's for sure. So, I, uh, you know, dude, you're going to have a long period of reconstruction ahead. But I can tell you what I just told you. Tell me yes or no, what you do. I'm, I'm prepared to literally make a video and tell everything. Starting back to 2022 when I had money, where it went south, every fucking mistake I made, and where I started, where I started fucking up. Dude, I was never robbed. Dude, I'm not that stupid. I'm fucking smart and very good at what I do. I would never get robbed. Dude, I, I think it's... So I have to pause it right there. He admits that he was never robbed. That's crazy. That's mother effing crazy that he was pretending that he was robbed. And that's why he can't pay back the watches. Now he admits, or now he confesses that he was never robbed. He's, quote, too smart to be robbed. This is very, very interesting psychology wise where. He's, he has so much pride that he ha he's admitting that he was never... I mean, the Rob part angle, it kind of gives him an out, really. Hey, I took all your watches. It's, it's slightly believable as well. Hey, I took your watches to Arizona. I got robbed. Uh, all these watches are now gone. The problem with that is if he sold these watches to a dealer or a dealership then that person bought the watch not thinking it was stolen and all of a sudden these watches are stolen remember anthony had gone to arizona claiming that his rm was found by a jewelry store and he tried to get the police involved i wonder how much of that was real how much that of that was a delusion but it seemed like all these watches were le well not legitimately so but from the person buying the watch they're buying it from a watch dealer they're paying probably a reasonable price for it uh, people have said that the watches may have been sold to china via z z has been awfully quiet and we don't know what happened with him so let's continue and just listen to the rest of the video but i do want to point out this very very key thing that anthony admits that he was never robbed i just i just i just spent the money badly I made dumb I, I made dumb decisions at the penthouse where I lost you know, I lost eight hundred thousand dollars in one month on the penthouse. And I started that's when I started robbing people to pay Paul. That was when it started. The one thing I can say about that is every single time I robbed Peter to pay Paul, when I paid Peter back, I paid him back more than they would have gotten. Every single person can attest to that they got paid back more than they wanted. Or more than they were so here is the rob peter to pay paul anthony is saying that everyone got paid back more than i find this hard to believe and this might be why you're in debt anthony is like these people just want their money back they don't want interest they don't want the buyback guarantee they simply want what is owed to them 
Now we can get into scenario victim blaming and all this stuff. I'm not a proponent of that. I think when people are scammed, they have reasons or maybe they had high expectations. Everyone has a story who can sign a watch with Anthony, why they trusted him. And it is, you know, in hindsight, a bad idea. But when you are trying to maximize your money or, you know, I saw a Reddit post about a young couple, you trust the wrong people. It happens all the time. People get scammed by FTX all the time. No matter how many YouTube influencers like Graham Stefan promote it. Doesn't help. And that's what drove that's what drove my hole deeper and deeper and deeper to the point where it started at a million dollars. A year and a half later it's five million. It started at a million dollars, a year and a half it's five million. So in a year and a half he accumulated four million dollars of debt. But the one million dollar debt that might have been the original TPG, which is now Grand Caliber. Like I said, it was very strange how they split Grand Caliber. Grand Caliber get, got to keep the YouTube channel, which it doesn't really have any value to Grand Caliber because they deleted or privated all the videos anyway. So the SEO marketing value is zero. And honestly, the relationship of Grand Caliber, it's never going to survive. It's never going to be able to scrub itself out of Anthony, no matter how hard it tries. It's Grand Caliber, right? I mean, it used to be OTPG. So we have a very interesting scenario playing itself out. Obviously, Anthony's confession, which um, is on YouTube. Uh, this one is on TikTok from a customer recording Anthony. This is part three. We'll probably cover part four when it comes out. But this is some really interesting stuff. And I'm actually going to replay it without audio and then read his text. Yeah, it's a lot of money. I'm going to tell, tell, tell everybody. I'm going to admit every bit of it. I'm going to walk them through step by step by step all the dumb shit I've done, all the expenses, like the gifts. Here's why I made all the mistakes. And this is what dug my hole. And now, here's what it's going to take to build my whole out of it. Like, I could. So, you heard Anthony. Now I'm going to read you the text that the guy wrote. Uh, I would say that the guy really exposed Anthony. And without his TikTok videos being published and Reddit being, you know, flowers of Reddit, being on top of everything, uh, Anthony would still be lying today is my guess. Anthony claims he's going to get honest and tell everyone the truth. Instead of doing that, the next day, he sends a text to all of his consignees stating that he was robbed. And we, we've all seen that text, right? Uh, where he says that $2 million of watches were robbed. It kind of blew up. The text leaked. Was it this guy who leaked it? Was it somebody else? Another consignee? Who knows? Somebody leaked the text. You are here halfway through this video, him admitting that he has never been robbed. All lies to cover up extravagant spending of other people's hard-earned money. I would agree with that statement. Not an ounce of remorse in selling my watches and spending my money. So this guy is very calm, considering that he's lost, I think, upwards of $190,000. And it's, it's you know, com commendable that he was able to conduct this whole interview almost, record it, and then put it on TikTok. Um, and, you know, I, it's kind of interesting that Anthony records people without consent and his downfall was being recorded without consent. You gotta admit, it's a little ironic, yeah? So, next... Um, I guess he just kind of doesn't post anything for a while. He has a few different statements. He is an excellent salesman. Do not fall for his tactics. And yeah, he's the the video angle is a little weird, and his Audi, I, I, it's an Audi. I'm pretty sure it's an Audi. The comments are also hilariously bad. Uh, about Anthony to all my fellow consignees who still believe that he was going to pay you back I suggest you listen closely to the next portion 
and that was about the robbery. So I don't think any consignee at this point in time. Some of them have reached out to me. I don't know if they're legitimate or they're real. I don't know. Um, maybe we'll have some of them on the live stream tomorrow, today, I guess. It's today. I'm making this a day in advance. My name is not Peter as you nonchalantly speak the truth. Try putting f names, faces, and my children's faces whom you've met in the place of Peter and Paul. So this individual, uh, there's no conscience in your tone. Hope you learn that a clear conscience is the best pillowcase. So clearly now he's getting a little bit more enraged. Uh, Anthony's video probably that came out today was not helpful. Yeah, he's got kids, uh, people got families, people depending on these watches. They were told that they were investment. This portion makes me sick, so hard to not verbally unload. He did not tell anybody, just gave them more lies to perpetuate his story. As of last night, 8 one twenty-three, he texted my friend and said, Now that this is out, I have ruined his chances of paying people back. And it's my fault. Sorry, Anthony, but you did this, not me. Okay. That's bonkers, right? So, um, Anthony texted his friend and said that the reason that no one's getting paid back was because um, this individual exposed him. And then, therefore, I guess he couldn't sell more watches. That's crazy how he, you know, he, this is nuts. It's nuts how he's blaming this guy for his problems and we've seen this with Anthony he tends to blame other people when he's the main source of all the problem it's it's the one funny meme where it's like a kid in a bicycle and then he puts like a stick through his like spoke and he falls down and then he's like shaking his fist angrily I mean it's exactly that meme personified you did this to yourself there's no one else to blame but you it's wild that you would blame this guy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. We are probably going to have a live stream tomorrow. I set one up with Noel and uh, start starting at 7 p.m. Central Time. I got to make the funny graphics. You know, I'm just terrible at this uh, hyping stuff up. Anyway, bye guys.